China has more than 200 confirmed cases of coronavirus, it's called, which produces pneumonia-like symptoms. State by state, residents now being ordered to stay indoors. Non-essential businesses told to close. And we will defeat the virus. We're doing very well with vaccine development. It's been the worst month yet for the COVID-19 pandemic in the United States. It's giving a record number that this could lead to an increase in the death count. The 21st century has seen epidemic and pandemic virus emergence events from wildlife. These include viruses like the alpha virus, chikungunya virus, the flavivirus, Zika virus, the Ebola virus outbreaks, and most everyone remembers the 2009 H1N1 influenza pandemic. Uh, importantly, there have been three coronavirus epidemics or pandemics in the 21st century in humans. So these are very, very dangerous pathogens. One of the things that we're really learning from our response to this pandemic is that we don't want to do this in real time. Responding to these things in real time will always be inefficient um, and probably the least effective way. We need to start thinking about a proactive approach rather than a reactive approach. Because right now, almost everything else against COVID-19 has been reactive. We waited for the pandemic and the consequences of that are painful. If we take the time in advance to really sit down, do the hard work that needs to be done, we can have these medicines ready when we need them. Ready is focused on three significant emerging virus families, coronaviruses, alphaviruses, and flaviviruses. Viruses in those families have proven potential to cause widespread epidemics and pandemics, coupled with the fact that those three virus families don't have existing approved therapeutics and vaccines. So there's a really high unmet need to develop effective medicines. We have a lofty goal, um, which is five broad spectrum antiviral drugs through phase one human safety testing in five years. The idea is that they're broad spectrum, so they don't just target one member of each of those families, but instead the drugs that we're trying to make would be effective against all the members of those families. When a new virus emerges, we're not going to know what its sequence is. So instead, we know that when related viruses infect cells, they change cells in very similar ways. So that fact lets us start developing drugs against those cellular changes right now in advance of a new virus emergence. And so we're really taking both strategies, targeting the viruses, but using strategies that are gonna be broad spectrum, but also targeting host pathways. Reddy's goal is really to bring everybody together that we would need to do that effectively. By bringing people from the pharmaceutical industry, scientists like myself, but also people all the way in between. And the goal is to essentially smooth that process from early stage to actually having something that could go into the clinic. Making a drug takes time, and it takes dedicated effort and resources. And as we've seen right now, if you don't do that work ahead of time, you won't be prepared when the next virus emerges. This is a strategy that we can apply that will be available for future pandemics for our children's and our children's children. And I think we can have things set up so that this amount of human suffering will never have to happen again. That would be my hope.